we're going to hear from our expert panel in just uh, a few minutes about uh, the role of the Federal Communications Commission's proposed regarding mobile service providers and the requirements to unlock consumers' phones within 60 days of activation. It is already hard enough to switch carriers and unlocking makes it extremely difficult. So what we believe the FCC should do is make it easier to automatically unlock devices after 60 days. We're competing on price, quality of our networks, devices, without making it artificially difficult uh, for consumers to leave. And that's why we as a company hope that the FCC acts on this uh, as quickly as possible. If handset unlocking is good at, for, at 60 days or 180 days, whatever the number is, if it's good for some consumers, it's good for all consumers. We believe you should be able to get inside your own things. We believe that cell phone locks are anti-consumer and we're we're calling for their removal entirely. Phone unlocking obviously promotes competition and the ability for people to switch. Having uh, having locks that are uh, difficult for consumers to navigate are bad for uh, for consumer choice. It's bad for competition between companies. It means that consumers can't freely move from from one carrier to another when situations dictate it. The primary grounds of AT and T and T Mobile's objection is legal authority. Uh, we believe, and others have commented as well, that the FCC has clear legal authority uh, to regulate the nature of services as it relates to our FCC licenses under Section 303B. And Un automatic unlocking really does have to mean that, you know, you go to sleep one night and you wake up and then your phone is unlocked with absolutely no action or intervention you know, taken on your part. A right is meaningless if you don't know how to exercise it and you run into all sorts of problems. I'm really heartened to to see that we're all in broad agreement on the, the importance of eliminating confusion and automatic unlocking. 